Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you as always for all of your lovely support in the last episode, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. If we could continue with the 500 light goal for the episodes in this series, that would be absolutely lovely, my friends. But of course, if you want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. In the last episode, of course, we went ahead and tamed Alyssa here, the level 2 260 Argentavis with some truly crazy stats going on here, my friends. 6,000 health, 1,500 stamina, 1,500 carry weight, and 795% melee damage, which is just a beautiful all-rounder tame, my friends. Now, in today's episode, what I'd like to do is safeguard our base area, and that means placing down a whole bunch of fence foundations and large stone walls. So, yeah, this place will be nice and safe from the outside world. So, the easiest way to show you guys just how much we're going to wind up cordoning off here is to take to the skies. And as you can see, we are on Alyssa here, and what we are going to do is we're going to have the stone wall start at the waterfall here and basically work its way all the way along the cliff side and then we will simply have the wall go all the way along the edge here. It will eventually go over the river here as well all the way over to the other side at which point we will turn a corner around these rocks here and go all the way up until we hit the breedery here and that will just about do it okay so yeah we've got a very 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 large amount of foundations and large stone walls to be making and as a result again all of that place down we will therefore have a very very large area to call our base and it's going to be a nice safe space to be now one thing i am realizing of course is the fact that uh, enemies will just be able to roam off the cliffs here and may even wind up dropping in to the area so what i'm thinking is that we at least leave a fair amount of gap between the cliff and the wall. So as always, my friends, if we're going for stone foundations and walls, stone thatch and wood are basically going to be the holy trifecta of resources we are going to be needing today. The good news, of course, is the fact that this Therizino is fantastic at getting wood. So, um, yep, yeah, 3,000. That'll probably do us for a fair amount of time, I would say. The good news about having the engrams in your hotbar is you can continually craft the things that you want. So in this case, fence foundations and large stone walls. So needless to say, we're going to need a dino gateway leading out to this little ladder here. So we can get up to the cliff real easy like. So we should be able to get that done pretty nicely. Yeah. All right. The only thing is... Uh, there is rather a very large rock in the way. Ah. And if I open the doors inwards, I cannot actually get in. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get around that one, because I wanted to be nicely centred on the stairs here. But, uh, yeah, there are some large boulders in the way. Ah, okay, so it turns out the orientation of the gateway is every- Oh. Dude, I just placed it down in such a way that it opens outwards. What is this game talking about? That's really inconsistent and very, very annoying as a result. I want it to only ever open one way. Yeah, this game has other ideas, apparently. If I open it outwards, I can get in. If I open it inwards, I cannot get in. But the good news is it's consistent enough to whereby if I walk up to it... Yeah, okay, it opens outwards. Yeah, in certain circumstances, it opens inwards. I, I don't get this game. I really don't get this game. I never have done so. Why should I try to get it now, eh? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? When you actually stack up the uh, large stone walls against the cliff face there, uh, it actually isn't that high, is it? I still feel like people will simply be able to just like sprint off the cliff and land inside my base. All I can hope for is that maybe they can't. Although with that said, I kind of want to try something real quick. Can you double stack these? Is that something you can do? Oh, you can double stack them. Yeah, but the only thing is, by doing that, we would basically be, I don't know, kind of restricting the beauty of this area sort of damaging the beauty of this area a little bit. I mean, yeah, we're probably going to need some stone walls that go through the water here so that anyone who winds up coming down the waterfall can't get in. 
But, yeah, still, I, I don't know, man. There's just a lot of things that need to be done, isn't there? There really, really does. Well, can't say that I do much building underwater in Ark, so, uh... Well, this is certainly a different thing, my friend. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. Uh, all I know is I need to try and make all of these walls here connect up with uh, this here gateway, all right? So here we are, guys. I've managed to almost dam this place off. I mean, look at it. It actually isn't that tall, I guess would be my only concern right about now. I mean, it appears to be, what, maybe only two walls tall out of the water there? But, uh, you know... We managed to do it. We managed to block off the river as well. And that should mean we hopefully don't have anyone dropping in on us from the waterfall here. Because, yeah, that seems to be where a lot of the raptors are spawning and coming from. So, yeah. We're going to treat this. And there we have it, my friends. We are now completely guarded all the way up to this here breedery build, my friends, eh? This is kind of cool. We're getting there. I am feeling ever so much safer for having these walls up, my friends. And once we have them all up and going, I will feel way less stressed about leaving my dudes behind to go on adventures and whatnot, all right? So, uh, yeah. Everything's going well, guys. Alrighty, my friends. If all goes well, I think I've got the last of the resources to finish off this entire thing here. Uh, there we are. That should be it, I think. Yeah. I think we did it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We have all of the walls up. There is a gateway and gate to be placed in uh, just over there in front of me, as you guys can probably see. But aside from that, that's it. We are done. We have a nicely cordoned off area to call our proper base area. So here we go, my friends. We've got our gateway. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy placed in. And ideally, again, there we are. I'd like for the gates to be opening outwards. There we have it. We have a gigantic base area with lots and lots of space for future expansions, my friends. There's loads of other builds that I want to try and get done in this series, believe me. Maybe we could try some metal builds. Maybe we could get ourselves some builds containing the very, very large crafting stations. Things like industrial forges and various other bits and bobs, you know. And obviously, later down the line tech furniture. Something I've never actually experimented with, you know? There's a lot of stuff to be had in this base area, and boy oh boy, is there a lot of space to be trying it all out. I'm so happy that we got this done, my friends. I really am. Now, as a result of getting all of that done, we do, of course, have ourselves a level up, and check it out. At level 90, what do we have here? The pheromone dart. Uh, yeah? Okay. I'm pretty alright. We're just saving up my engram points at this point. So check this out as well, guys. Um, we now have a vast, vast quantity of cooked meat. I kind of decided, you know what? Hey, let's go ahead and cook up a whole bunch of meat. And I did. And now I've literally got hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of pieces of cooked meat, and it's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> so, I tell you what, we're pretty much just going to put it all in here, and uh, let's check in our jerky supply. Look at that, we've got a whole bunch of jerky now. We've got nine loads of cooked meat jerky, and eight loads of prime meat jerky. So, cooked meat jerky and prime meat jerky appear to last for exactly the same amount of time here. Uh, the prime meat jerky says wild carnivores like this meat a lot. Wild carnivores will eat it, but prefer raw meat. So, prime meat jerky is the way to go in terms of taming large carnivores, maybe? And then this is more for us, isn't it? I mean, just look at the size of this place, man. It's huge. It's friggin' huge. And I really, really love the river flowing through it. I think this is one of the greatest locations to build a base. I mean, maybe not necessarily in terms of resources, especially high-end resources, but as a bit of a starter base area. It's pretty good, isn't it? So then, remember that idea for having ourselves a super speedy, weight-buffed Argentavis? Well, do you know what we're going to do for the rest of the episode? We're going to try and get ourselves one, okay? So let's go ahead and grab out our mobile taming trap kit of epicness. We'll make ourselves a bunch more trank arrows, and we are going to get this thing underway. We're going to try and trap ourselves an Argentavis this time. We're not going to do what we did in the last episode. I mean, come on. We've got 1,500 carry weight, my friends. We could probably carry, like, 10 more of these mobile taming traps here. 
This is crazy, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, guys, let's go for a bit of an explore. Let's try and find ourselves another high-level Argentavis. And like I said, this one is going to be a super speedy transport machine, which is going to have its speed and its weight leveled up and nothing else, all right? I really wish this fog would bugger off. I really dislike fog and arc. I'm pretty sure I've said it in every single arc series I've ever done, but I really dislike fog. I've always hated fog. I mean, yeah, it kind of makes the game feel a bit more sort of atmospheric, but in a practical sense, it's just like... Nah, I don't fancy it, man. I just don't. So, as per my previous Argentavis here, we're looking for 135 plus. Uh, 70, that's 25. Eh, not really what we're looking for. One thing I will do is go ahead and check out loot beams if they so happen to present themselves in my path here. What do we got here? Ascendant Mammoth Saddle. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alrighty, guys. There is indeed an Argentavis nearby. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make our little mobile taming trap. Well, it's also mobile anymore now, is it? But uh, yeah, we're going to get this taming trap made. And we're going to go out. We're going to try and lure the Argentavis in. Okay. And we'll give this thing a proper road test, right? Alright, guys. So on this occasion, what I actually decided to do was replace the large stone walls with another dino gateway. And what we're going to try and do now is do a little bit of practice. Practice. Oh, that didn't work out. What I'm trying to do is be able to close the gate. That's it. As I'm flying, right? Without going ahead and dismantling. Because if I dismantle, then the whole thing can go wrong very, very quickly. So let's just try that again. We're going through. Doo -doo -doo, and it's being closed. Right. And that means the other table should wind up being stuck, right? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. All we're going to do now, then, is go find that Argentavis, and we will lure it into the trap. Oh, did I mention? It's a max level one. It's level 150. All we need to do is try to lure this guy. That's it. You're going to follow me, son. We're going to go into this Argent taming trap, or generic taming trap, whatever floats your boat, and we are going to see if we can actually make this work. So that's right. Keep on coming there, son. We need to make sure he's right on our butt. Yep, there we have it. We go ahead, go through. Du oh, darn it, man! Ah, that's actually really annoying. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be following me, sir. You're not supposed to lose focus just as we arrive, you numpty. All right, once more. It's on our butt. Then we close it. Then we close it. <laughs> yes! It works. We got ourselves a maximum level Argentavis, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That. That will do the job. Now, needless to say, I'm sure that there are more effective and compact and less expensive taming traps out there. But this is the one that I learned to make on my Lost Island series. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Tried and tested. Seems to be working a treat, my friend. So I'm just going to keep on with it. Obviously, eventually, later down the line, we'll try out some other taming traps as well. Might even make a whole video on it. I don't know, man. But for now, this is doing the job, all right? Any second now, this Argentine... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. I fear that that arrow may have hit the Argentavis after it went down. Uh, that's not good. You want to know why that's not good? Because that is going to affect the taming effectiveness, right? All we could do is wait and see, okay? All we could do is wait and see. And I've just realized this is a male Argentavis. The Argentavis we already have is female. Breeding pair, question mark? So it turns out the meat jerky is actually not that great a food source. It barely restores your food. Why would I go for this over cooked prime meat? Seriously, it says sates your hunger and provides health while being digested lasts longer than cooked meat. I don't know just how effective these are at actually restoring health over time versus the cooked prime meat, but as an immediate basis, cooked prime meat seems to do a way better job. Obviously, if you guys have any uh, more intel on that, then do let me know in the comments area. But I am failing to see why you would have meat jerky over cooked prime meat. Ah, oh, I was right, guys. I was right. We shot this guy. 
after it went down. Ah, oh, that means we actually have slightly less timing effectiveness. But the good news is this guy is still going to be level 200 plus upon being tamed. Level 209, which believe it or not, is around-ish the same level Elissa was upon being tamed. So, that works. I'll take it. Now, I guess one of the things I could do is wait for this guy to wake up or force feed at Stimberries to wake him up sooner. But the only issue with that is it just has, like, no health left at all. And therefore, I would just wind up killing it upon trying to tame it the next time round. So, uh, yeah. As much as we don't have 100% taming effectiveness, I think this guy will still do the job nicely, all right? So I'll tell you what. While we're going ahead and waiting for this Argentavis to tame, we'll do the comment of the day. Isabel Spencer says, Python, when you have the reason resources maybe you can replace the ladder with an elevator that isabel is a great idea i have actually never ever worked with elevators in this entire game i just haven't elevator track we're qu oh wow okay there might be a reason for it 140 metal ingots 35 polymer 25 cement in place and 20 electronics per time oh mama Okay, well, I guess once we have ourselves maybe a polymer farm in the form of, I don't know, maybe those little penguin dudes or something, then uh, maybe we could give this a go. We could have, like, multi-story bases as well, dudes. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, though. It's a good idea. I've never worked with elevators, and maybe this is the series we work with them for the first time. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to Adam the Argentavis. And you are a handsome lad as well, aren't you? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. I guess what we'll need to do... Hang on. I need to go ahead and grab your saddle. Put it on Adam here. There we are. And then we simply get out. There we have it. Yeah. Fantastic, eh? Fantastic. Alrighty, guys. Alyssa has been dropped off, and that means only one thing. It's rampage time. Let's do this thing. We're going to start off by trying to find ourselves an unexplored explorer note to get our XP buff. And then we'll be on our merry way poning a whole bunch of hopefully alphas. Ah, oh, sweet. It's one of those weird tech explorer notes. Yeah, that'll do nicely, my friends. You want to know the good thing as well? I did see an alpha around here. Uh, oh, there it is. Hello. How's it hanging there, Budski? Yeah, all right. All right. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for it, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't giving up until all of these guys are dead by my hand, okay? It ain't happening. Everybody's gonna die. Everybody, including the Stegos here. The Stego, the Alpha, everybody. Everybody gonna die! Okay, so there's an Alpha. There's a Rex. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, things are getting bad. Oh, wow. It was only a level five. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. All right, Rexy. You're going as well, son. Sorry. Oh, what's the matter there, Rexy? Is your turning circle too big? <laughs> I can turn corners and kick this guy's butt way easier than he can kick my butt. Ha! Okay, we have 30 levels up. All right, well, as I was mentioning, we're going to be buffing up the speed a whole bunch and then also weight. Yeah. We can move quicker, guys. It's a shame that it's only a 1% increase per time. But, uh, you know, if we keep on with the whole alpha farming, we might, just might, be able to buff ourselves up quite heavily here. Oh, hell yeah! There's an alpha raptor in amongst this small-scale war going on here. All right, well, uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, chuck myself into this because, uh, sure, why not? All right, the rest of these guys could all go bye byes as well. Although, saying that, they are actually doing a fair amount of damage to me because they've got the whole pack buff, haven't they? Oh, come on then. Come on. Come on. Turns out this alpha I'm trying to kill now is in fact level 75. So uh, I'm hoping for a lot of XP. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was trapped. Come on. Don't you bait me like that. Hey. There goes the Alpha Raptor. There goes a Saber Tooth. How many levels up do we have now? Another 19 levels up. And guess what? There is yet another Alpha Raptor down here. What level is it? That is the question. Oh, I can't bleed and see a thing. It's level 95! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that I can kill that in time, you know? Oh, no! The XP is going to run out, man! Oh. All right. Do we try and find ourselves another Explorer and get right back to it? 
Yes. Yes! Explorer note time! Let's uh, da da do it! Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Back to the Alpha. Hey, Alpha! Remember me? <laughs> Oh, why are you even bothering? Just, just, just die. Just die. So long, Alpha Boy. So long. All right, 510 seconds. There was another Alpha, believe it or not, kind of near to that Explorer note. Let's just keep it going. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> hey, Alpha, do you want to know what happened to your cousin? Me. <laughs> yeah, and I am what happened to this guy as well. Oh, I'm in a mischievous taking down Alpha's mood. Oh, what's that? Another explorer note, you say? Sure. I'll take it, man. All right, all right. I've been going for a long time now, my friends. I have another 31 levels up. We're going to put 20 of those into movement speed and the remainder all in to wait here. So, uh, yeah, whoa. 35,000 XP is now the amount this Argentavis has. So, probably upon the next level up, it'll probably wind up having the same amount of weight as our all-rounder Argentavis. I mean, look at this as well. It's now a higher level than Elissa is. Level 271, dudes. 271. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? But yeah, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode before this gets too long, my friendos. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, of course, you're excited to see more. Do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.